Hello everyone, welcome to Natural Nail Tarot. These are my natural nails and this is Tarot. This reading is for life path number seven. Yes, life path number seven, cerebral energy. Your focus is faith. And what I was feeling before I, I started the video is someone who is scared to take a leap of faith. And your number is about having faith. So let's check into your energy life path number seven. Thank you, spirit, for being a guardian, a guide, a protector, a teacher. Thank you for knowing all, for seeing all. Thank you, angels, for being around me, loving me, guiding me, supporting me, protecting me. I greatly appreciate it. I ask that you bring life path number seven's energy completely into this reading so that I can convey the message as clearly as possible. Thank you in advance, spirit. We have the ten of wands popping out already. What else, spirit? The ace of swords. the tower and I kept seeing a tower when I was shuffling before I even started the video the tower I can't make it up <laughs> I cannot make it up what else spirit the ten of cups the five of pentacles Couple more shuffles. The Eight of Pentacles. So your current energy, you are wanting to release the burden of fear and step into your power. This is something you know you have to do in order to move your life forward, in order for you to really walk into your emotional fulfillment. And you are hard at work at it. So even if you are feeling a little fearful about this, you are working on it. This is something that you have come to a realization about. Yes, with this Ace of Swords. Let's clarify some of this. We have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So you are wanting to move into your passions. You may be coming out of some financial problems. But you're working your way through it. What's the Ten of Wands here? We have strength. Yes. Okay. What else here for the Ten of Wands? The Knight of Pentacles. This has take this has been a long time coming. You moving out of this fear and wanting and dropping these burdens. You have the page of swords. You're taking action. It's taking a while for you to get here, but you're taking action. We have the devil at the bottom of the deck. So there were things holding you back, behaviors, whether it was behaviors, thoughts, people, addictions, but you are taking action. What's the tower spirit? We have the lovers and the king of wands. Give me one more spirit. I'm getting now or never energy, justice. Yes, so I'm feeling, ooh, <laughs> we have the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. I'm feeling now or never energy. 
I feel like you feel like if you don't do this now, no matter what fear was in your head, if you don't do this now, it'll never ha Hold up. We got the two of swords. Also clarifying this, this tower. So I feel like you feel like if you don't do this now, it'll never happen. You realize that you were blocking yourself from this. And you're making the decision to move forward. Because the lovers is not just speaking to love with, you know, an intimate relationship. And whatever this is you're deciding to move forward with, it is something that you love. That you're very passionate about. Which is why we have this Ten of Wands, it being a burden. You know, these are your passions. We have this Six of Wands under, at the bottom of the day. It's going to fulfill you emotionally. And what's the Eight of Pentacles spirit? We have the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. You realize how you holding back and not moving forward was affecting you emotionally. It was affecting how you love yourself. Okay. And you were re ready to release this emotional burden having to do with your passion. Okay. What are blockages for life path number seven, spirit? What is this that just flipped over? The Knight of Swords. What else, spirit? Death. Again, the Seven of Wands, the Page of Cups. Okay. You still struggle with thoughts of not moving forward with this. But Spirit is wanting you to really, really fight for this. Because it's something that's going to bring you such emotional fulfillment. Follow your intuition. This is what number sevens are all about. They're about, y'all are about intuition. And sevens also have the ability to be a little insecure because y'all like to be alone. Y'all like to be mysterious. But spirit is really, really asking for you to fight for this. Transform yourself. Use your strength to transform yourself. Because it's in you. Take action. We have the page of swords. Again, we've seen the Page of Swords earlier in the reading. Let's clarify. What's death, spirit? Okay, we have the Chariot. And the Three of Wands. Yes, this transformation... Don't look back. You already decided to move forward. So spirit is asking you to not look back at all. 
because what you've decided to do moving forward was the right decision. This is going to serve you well. There's no need to think about it anymore. This is the four swords at the bottom of the deck. There's no need to think about it anymore. Spirit is saying no turning back. What's the page of cuss spirit? We have the five of swords at the bottom of the deck and I feel like I already know where this is going. So let's see. The two of wands, the high priestess, the ace of pentacles, and the ten of swords. So they, there may have been people um, around you discouraging you. But Spirit is saying, you know. You know deep down inside, this is a really good opportunity for you. Spirit is saying, you know which direction to go in. Don't be afraid. Be brave. Don't trick yourself. Don't trick yourself out of this. Spirit wants this for you. What's the focus for life path number seven, Spirit? We have the page of swords. So the focus, taking action. What else, Spirit? We have the Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, everything is fine, and the Empress. Give me one more spirit. The Two of Cups. There may be a love situation that you're holding on to. Or also, there may be a love situation that you're holding back from. Because of some insecurities or because of some past pain that you dealt with. Spirit is calling for you to heal from that. Spirit wants you to heal from that so that you can bring in some love. Spirit doesn't want you to be insecure about love. Let's clarify. What's the Ten of Swords, Spirit? The Eight of Cups. Moving forward from that hurt. Moving on emotionally. What else for the Ten of Swords, Spirit? We have the Nine of Wands. The King of Swords. Yeah, spirit is calling for you to work towards mental clarity. We have the six of swords at the bottom of this deck. Calmer waters mentally. Whatever didn't work in the past, see your, your part in it. See the part that you played in it. And, and two, 
your insecurities could have pay, played a, a huge part in this relationship from your past. Whatever it is, whatever relationship you're healing from. What's the two of cups spirit? I'm gonna get it. The six of cups. Okay, we have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck of betrayal. The Six of Cups, the Tower, the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Magician. You may have hurt this person and you're trying to bring them back in or um, manifest them back into your life. You see the truth now. You see the part you play, you're seeing the part you played in it. Okay. What energy is coming towards life path number seven spirit? Okay. The Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Three of Swords, give me something else, Spirit, the Eight of Swords. This may also be speaking to your past. The insecurities of your past and forgiving yourself and not holding on to your past, not holding yourself to your past, understanding that you went through that in order to get to the mindset you're in now and everything happens how and when it's supposed to. So you have to forgive yourself for whatever insecurities you were carrying, whatever was holding you back, we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And when I see this card, this is like the ultimate love. And I just see forgiveness when I see this card. And also the person you're dealing with, they are going to forgive you. You will have a new beginning with this person is what I'm seeing. Yep. So, you know, we've seen the, the king of wands in the beginning. We have the queen of wands right here. We have the will of fortune. We have the hierophant. There will be forget. We have the ten of pentacles. This could well, very well so be a soulmate connection. If you are masculine energy, this feminine energy has gone on and healed herself and was going to be great regardless. But it's like now that you see your greatness, you can see their greatness. You needed to see your own greatness first. I want to clarify this, um, this Eight of Swords. There's three swords and the eight of swords. The four of wands and the four of swords. The seven of swords, clarifying the eight of swords. Okay, yeah. You may be a little tied down about 
mentally by the thoughts of your behavior in the past and you wanted to leave that behind wanting to heal from that wanting to heal this situation let's see we have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so leaving up out of that spiritual poverty leaving up out of that place of lack any major arcana to clarify the entire reading for life path number seven spirit strength and strength is out here three times so big big emphasis on on strength anything else spirit Justice and the fool. So just keep moving forward. You are thinking the right thoughts in moving forward. As long as you're not looking back and, and wanting to go backwards. Spirit is saying, take that leap of faith. Because your number is all about having faith. Justice will be served. Now, let's say y'all didn't end up back together, you and this person that's on your mind. There's still justice in that. You had to go through this in order to see yourself. Sometimes we go through things to see ourselves. Sometimes we go through things for other people, with other people, for them to see themselves. But you had to go through this to see yourself. We have the devil at the bottom of the deck. So just keep moving forward. Take that leap of faith. You are on the right track. Any divine abundance for life path number seven? Right action is at the bottom of the day. Clearing. As true offering arises... It becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine, mine, mine to God's, God's, God's. Such freedom. Yeah. So you're just going through clearing out what was in you that needed to be released. Individuality. Every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. Your lessons are for you. Don't ever question that for sure. They are for you. If it's happening to you, it's for you. Whether it be for you to learn from, grow from, reflect on your path dear lord help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what i can see through my fears and illusions yes release those fears because you're on the right path no matter what it looks like then what's most important is the fact that you reflected on the then and you see clearly in the now All right, Starseed Oracle. Do we have any Starseed Oracles for Life Path Number Seven, Spirit? Interesting. I seen this when I was shuffling before I started recording this reading. Well and Orca Elders, share your song, frequency of sound, diving deep. That card is about your life being a song. And just as well as you're learning from your life, other people will learn from your life too. 
whether you know it or not, this will be something you'll be able to pass down or pass on to others, this lesson. The golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Really stick to your intuition. What your intuition is telling you. Your intuition is what even got you to start taking action. So really, really stick to your intuition and connect to your inner child. Make sure that you are loving on yourself as if you were a child. Nurturing yourself. Nurture yourself in the ways that you felt you missed or you didn't receive from your parents, whether it be your mother or father. Love on yourself in that way. Love on your inner child in that way. All right, spirit, thank you for that, for life path number seven. That is all that I have for your reading. If you would like to extend this as a personal, the information will be in the description. Many blessings to you and your journey. Um, spirit is proud of you for taking action, no matter what the past looked like. That is all I have for you. And until next time, come again.